Ignatius of Antioch was the second bishop of Antioch in Syria. We have seven letters that we believe he wrote on his way to Rome from Antioch to be martyred. Six of those letters were written to churches such as the Ephesians, the Magnesians, the Tralians, the Romans, the Philadelphians, the Smyrnians, and one of those letters was written to the Bishop of Smyrna, which was Polycarp. His letters, as well as his martyrdom, can be dated anywhere between 98 and 117 AD during the reign of Trajan. And there are three prominent features throughout his letters, one being the unity of the church, the second being opposition towards ascetic thinking, and finally uh, reflecting on his impending martyrdom. The unity of the church was very important for Ignatius, especially in light of asceticism. He encouraged a three-tier leadership system throughout uh, the churches um, that contained a bishop at the top, followed by deacons, and then lastly, presbyters. The bishop being the most important role and that it reflected the whole church. So wherever the bishop was, there the congregation would be too. Um, whatever decision the bishop would make, the congregation would also make that decision. And the bishop, as well as these other um, leadership roles, had parallels uh, to God and the apostles and Jesus. So Ignatius argued that if the congregation was faithful and obedient to the bishop, it was in turn being faithful and obedient to God. And this would help keep the church from separating due to ascetic thought. Ignatius opposed ascetic thinking throughout his letters. He wrote several creeds throughout his letters that emphasized the physicalness, the humanity of Jesus, uh, contrary to what asceticism said. Um, which denied the humanity of Jesus and emphasized the spiritness. Finally, Ignatius talks a lot about his impending martyrdom. And although he surely was scared and anxious, afraid, in his letters he appears to be almost excited and looking forward to his martyrdom uh, because he believes that this is a tr the true test of a true disciple of uh, Jesus. He even writes to the church at Rome and tells them not to interfere with um, his trial. Um, perhaps because he suspects that there might be a chance that their influence could keep him from being killed. So he, he really does believe that his, he is better serving the church through his martyrdom, martyrdom than actually being alive and, and ministering uh, to the churches, to his church in Antioch. And finally, Ignatius gives us a lot of insights into early Christian thought about martyrdom. They, it, was, it was an honor to, to have that privilege bestowed on you. And he also gives us insights into the early church structure 
being of the bishop, the deacons, and the presbyters.